Younger Six season just ended with a massive question just hanging out there. If you're a fan still reeling from that roller coaster of a season finale, you're in the right place and also with good company. I'm Taylor Strecker, and this is where we go inside the show for a closer look. Let's do it one more time. It's your season finale, Getting Younger After Show. Tear. And I can't think of anyone I'd rather have here to hold my hand and tell me it's gonna be okay right now than Peter Herman. I need, Peter? Some, I need someone to hold my hand. Tell me. I know, <laughs> I right? Am I here one. for you? Well, I'm here, you're here for me. That, there's a lot. We gotta unpack a, got a bunch. Uh, and of course, we're all in this together. So as you watch, please join the conversation by sharing your thoughts about the finale in the comments. I can't wait to read those. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's review. Charles just asked Liza, to marry him, and we have to wait until next season to hear her answer. What did you think when you read it? How about that? Um, I thought, uh, well, I was—I couldn't have been happier that he that he asked her to marry him, and then the the sort of the minor key of her response or non-response, and I was and I and I sort of flipped over the. I was like, oh, is there another page? Is there? Is there? Maybe maybe I maybe I dropped a page. Maybe a page fell off. Maybe yeah, I, I ate it by maybe mistake. I ate it by mistake, <laughs> and there was no other page. And it's uh, it's just tough because the next page is the probably the first page of next season. What do you think happened? I don't know. <laughs> Me neither. I Jeremy don't. Nuts. I I, ju I don't know. I know that it will be better uh, because our writers are the greatest. Better than anything that you could think of or that I could think of. So fair. Um, and. Uh, but it's it's quite a long time to wait for an answer. Um, it's a long time. Well, it's rumor has it that you have been known to try to persuade the writers to tell you things. Oh, I'm terrible at it. I'm, Miriam is fantastic. <laughs> Miriam, my, Miriam's like my source for things. So she, let's send Miriam out. Yeah, exactly. I, Miriam, and get the goods before next season. Yeah, Mir <laughs> Miriam also knows who to talk to. I, I never know what person to talk to. She always, she always, she's, she's very seasoned yes. um, in that way and has uh, sort of ingratiated herself and wormed her way into um, their good graces uh, so that they, they tell her things. And then she's the source for the rest of us. Miriam, we're coming Miriam. for you. Were you surprised by the proposal when you first read it in the script? Were you shocked that that's how they were going to end it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, just because I thought of the, um, you know, the fans getting their pitchforks. <laughs> <laughs> revolting. I was there. I was with them. I was. You were like, there with the yeah! pitchfork. <laughs> we need an answer. Um, and and you know at, and at the same time, uh, well, I think was I surprised? Uh, I think I think it's such a beautiful ending. Uh, I think that Charles is ultimately a hopeful character. Yeah. Um, and there are, you know, few things in life that uh, are that bespeak as much hope um, as asking someone to spend uh, the rest of their life yeah. with you. Uh, there is a lot of hope in that, and there is a lot at stake, and it's an enormous risk. It's an enormous question. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I thought that was, that was very much in keeping with who he is and the direction that his life is taking, because he is uh, moving from here to here, living more from living more imp impulsively, and I will say I don't think this was an impulsive decision, um, but living more from his heart. So I think it was very much in keeping with who he is, and I think that also her answer is also in keeping with who she is. Beautifully. I have to ask, or do you think he had a ring? Um, he is. Uh, uh, is it in his pocket? Gentleman is never unprepared. Oh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just how many carrots? I just said that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. That better be a big ass ring. So let's talk pros and cons of them getting married. Mm -hmm. Okay? Why do you think Charles and Liza should get married? I think that they are two uh, deep, deep feeling souls um, that would, once they make that decision together, uh, would work feverishly and faithfully and long to make to make that journey together. Do you think their marriage would be dramatic or do you think it would be pretty? <laughs> you're like, you're like, oh, okay, okay, no. <laughs> no <laughs> you're like, okay, he okay, read okay, between wow. the lines of that question. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> do you think they, but would it, would it be dramatic or safe? That's interesting that that's your spectrum. Dramatic or safe. 
I got to call him a therapist very, after this episode. Very, very interesting. <laughs> that, 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 that's your spectrum. <laughs> Dramatic or safe? Tell, tell me what you mean. Do you think that there'd be a lot of ups and downs? Or would they be pretty, from the time they decided to walk down the aisle, like consistent and like in it to win it? Or would there be these like massive ups and downs? I think they're absolutely, uh, I think in it to win it, but that doesn't preclude ups and downs. That's fair. I mean, my God. Um, and especially, uh, sometimes especially if you're in it to win it, then, then you can, that, then there, there are, there can be massive ups and downs. And then, and then, you, and then you find your way back to each other. Yep. Uh, and then there is a, there's more of this, and then you find your way. I think the key is, though, um, is the, the desire and the commitment uh, and the promise to keep finding your way back. So what are the cons of them getting married? Why shouldn't they do it? You know, on the one hand, you can say that there is still uh, this, this other man that has uh, such a pull yes. on her heart. Uh, and I, and that, that she needs to work that out uh, before she can commit to somebody. Mm -hmm. I think that there are um, often people that still tug at one or the other person's hearts. Yes, um, in life. Uh, in, in, in life. So I think that that's, um, and as long as there is a, a level of openness and honesty, I think, I think, I think, um, I think that's okay and human. Um, and I think that's why our writers are so fantastic because they, they write human beings. So what's the energy like on set when you're shooting a final episode like this? Is it like excitement? Is it sadness? It, it's sort of e all of the above. Um, it's a little bit of senioritis, mm -hmm. where 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 you 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 <clears throat> it gets a little looser. Summer vacation's around the corner. Summer and, vacation. And it's like you got your flip flops on. Like yeah. Wage. Um, and uh, and then there's a little bit of uh, sort of a wistfulness and a little bit of melancholy. Yep. Um, because you know the, whenever any given season on a show ends or any any. You know, a piece of a job ends. We, uh, the the Pavlovian response, and the actor is like, "Oh my God, I'll never work again." So right. It's like automatic. It's automatic. It's like, oh my God, it's just okay. Ne never. You know, even if you're greenlit for another season, even, you're still like, you, "It's not gonna happen." Like this, well, no, actually, if once it's in writing, once you once you know, that's the rule. Once you sign. Once you sign, but really, but a conversation. That, conver that ain't signing. That's not We've signing. all learned that lesson. It's like before, even right? you hear from somebody. I know we're definitely going. You're definitely, definitely going to be a season seven. <laughs> 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 like well, now that you're done shooting, will you guys talk to each other? When you're um, on summer break? Well, uh, some of us sort of run into each other. Love. One one thing that happens though, and I, God, it's like. Uh, it, it's like being in school, and then you look over, and there are two kids sitting together at the lunch table, and you're like, "Why are they sitting together? <laughs> like, why, why, why didn't they sit with me?" You know. And like I, I'm here I, too. I see, I see some picture of, you know, I, I can't remember. It was like, I, I can't. There's Nico and Molly, or I don't know who. I posted on Instagram. I don't have Instagram, but I was looking at somebody. I think I was looking at Mershka's Instagram. Uh -huh. I was like. Wait a second! Like, why, why, why aren't they why, at brunch? Why, 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 <laughs> why did they get invited to the pool party? You know, Peter, so, come to my pool party whenever right, you want. Fantastic! Exactly, and we'll we'll, we'll photograph it and we'll post like crazy. <laughs> totally, we'll make you all so exactly. jealous. Yeah. Okay, so we have a lot to cover in the episode too. There was there was more than even just the ending. Kelsey tries to make it on her own, but then she ends up coming back to millennial because Charles basically offers her a stake in the company, which is a huge deal. But Charles really, it's more like a familial act, more yeah. so than like a big, huge Han Show career move. Do you think of these characters as family? Wow, I, you know, I, one thing that I think is, is that's a really beautiful thing that, that has developed in Charles's story is his sense of family. Yes, and and, that, and and I love the I love the line that he has, um, you know, when he comes back to Millennial, and he says, "I want to come home." Um, and I and, it, it. and and it's uh, I think that that's the and I, I love that they that the writers have stitched that into his character so beautifully. Um, uh, yes, it's a it's it's a family. Yes, uh, and I and I think that these are characters who have uh, seen each other at at uh, very low points and at high points and and um, and in a sense because we all get to go home at, not just actors, but let's say the characters, they get to leave their place of work and go home, some together, some not. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's somewhat easier than 
family sometimes. Isn't it though? <laughs> it's the family you choose. It's the family you choose, exactly. Also, Kelsey and Zayn seem to be back on. Um, what are your thoughts on this relationship? Are you for it or are you kind of like uh, trepidatious? Uh, I, I, I would tend more towards the trepidatious. Yeah. Um, I, but I think that some, but for some, they, they lean more towards the, uh, as you said, dramatic end of the spectrum. Yes, they do. Uh, and so that can be a lovely ingredient, and in a sense between them, an agreed upon ingredient in their relationship. And it's just, it's just part of the way that some people are with each other, and I think that's true of them. Well, speaking of that, they've been kind of awful to each other in the past. Do you think they're capable of a healthy relationship at some point? Yeah, I do. I think that I think the reason that they're awful to each other is I think the reason that many people are awful to each other is be, is to uh, as a something to cover up a deep vulnerability yep. and the fear of getting hurt. And so mm -hmm. that's you can you kind of throw up whatever you <laughs> you can you can you can throw up as as a barrier like God forbid that you actually see who I am and yeah. what I'm afraid of and what I'm made of and what I hope for. Um, and I think that, uh, but they, they I, 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 it's interesting. I, I think that at the two of them, I could picture at some point actually really, really letting each other in. I hope so. I hope so. I'm here it for might it. Be, it might be, you know, in season um, 26. I'm but here for that. Exactly. Yes, yes, it's and, in and, season 26. And, and, and we'll be here for like herbal <laughs> tea and... <laughs> Oh, no, never, honey. Never, I will never. always have a cocktail. Okay. Josh was up at the wedding as Lawrence Plus One. Mm -hmm. He asked Liza if he can give other people the same tattoo he gave her. And initially, she's like, yeah, sure. And then she's like, wait, 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 wait. No, that's like our thing. It's special. Do you see this as closure? Or is it Liza not being able to let go of Josh completely? Because I have been asking myself this question. Oh, I think I think it's the latter. Absolutely. And I think that's why it's beautifully written. Yeah. And I love that she changes her mind. Um, and and l lets it go, and then it drops in what that what that means and what that would feel like, and and she's and she says, well, uh, no, wait a second, that's ours. The, the line was, uh, that's ours. I mean, that's mine. Yeah. Right. And she catches herself saying, that's ours, and that I think that's just beautiful writing. How did it feel for you to see her say that though? <laughs> I, I didn't even. It didn't. Did it hurt your feelings? It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because I watched. I watched them shoot it. I was like, because I come in right after, right? right. And, and I was. They shot it right here, and then and then I saw the because Nico played it beautifully. I saw the smile play across, play across Nico's face. Like, I was like, get that smile off your. I get, still got get, it. Exactly. <laughs> it's like I got. I still have. I still. I still ring that bell in her. Um, and uh, no, I think it was beautifully played. So, what are you hoping to see next season? I think the thing that I want to see most in season seven is Liza happy. Liza happy. I know, but um, she's got two options that make her happy. I no, she's got the, a world of options that make her happy. And, and an aspect of her life is two men who love her deeply. Fair. Uh, and those are not the, ne neither man nor even a relationship are the keys to her happiness. It's an aspect of her life. Um, she is vibrantly alive. Uh, and whatever path she chooses to her happiness, to, to, to um, I, I, all of us, you know, just uh, stand on the sidelines and cheer and say, go, go, live, you know? I want season seven to open with you guys on your honeymoon. <laughs> no, you and me both. <laughs> I know, we're, we're all lobbying for Italy. We're all Ooh. lobbying, and Miriam's, Miriam's so, she's, because she has the, she talks to the writers and we're like, don't oh my God. talk to the writers. And so, so awesome. And Diana, so, and, and, and you guys on a joint honeymoon. Nobody. Yeah. We can do a pitch together. It'd be romance. Great. So good. She's so good. Okay, guess what? What? Game time. I'm gonna ask you to tell us some of your favorite things about Younger, but like uh, rapid fire style. Like I'm gonna say like blank, and you're gonna be like this. You do, do I have to sit through like that. <laughs> <laughs> this. Yeah, you gotta do jazz hands. Yeah. Jazz hands. <laughs> so nice. yeah, I'll read something about Younger, season six, and you tell me. The first thing that comes to mind. Uh, what's your favorite episode this season? The microdosing um, episode. Loved. Because um, they, a we got to see Sutton dance. Hello. And we got to see her dance with a plant. 
Yes. So that. Yes. That. Uh, that's just season six in a nutshell. So. What was your favorite scene to shoot? My favorite scene to shoot was in the second to last episode, when Sutton races to my office. Yes. To to intercept Kelsey's letter. Yes. Yes. And I walk in and I say, "Can I help you?" Because she's in my office. <laughs> I'm and so she turns around and she's caught. Yep. And she has to lie. And she's lying and she knows she's lying. She knows that I know that she's lying. <laughs> and she, Sutton, was so funny. She, she just had to sit there and vamp and try to come up with an answer. And she went through <laughs> all, all of these different facial expressions. Like this is just, this is totally going south. I'm lying, you know that I'm lying. And it was, it was like watching Lucille Ball. Yep. Um, and I'm t and and, the, and it was we were all you could see the entire camera crew shaking because they were trying to stop from laughing. Oh, it's um, the best. It was she was unbelievable. She was unbelievable. She was great. Love it. Favorite romantic moment. Favorite romantic moment. I, Liza and Charles are always good when they're in Charles's kitchen. <gasps> they it's are. it's always good. It's always good. And I and I like the simple romance of those moments. I also like your kitchen. I know, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh. Nothing wrong with that, yeah. Favorite plot twist? Oh, you know what I liked? I liked when Quinn got her comeuppance. I liked that so much. I thought, because, you know, as, as much as we have a villain in the show, she's it, and I read that, I was like, yeah! Take that, so, <laughs> and, you know, and Laura's so unbelievable. But it was, it was, that, that was fun, that was fun to read. Favorite day on set? I'll tell you what my favorite day on set was, was, and it was, and it was, uh, the, it was a chore of a day, it was a slog of a day, was the dinner party at Maggie's house. Yes. Uh, and the reason that it was my favorite day on set was because uh, uh, Miriam was directing. Yep. And it just was so great to watch her uh, negotiate Every, everything that you need to negotiate as a director. Um, tired actors and, 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 you know, line changes and camera angles and this and pro just everything. And she was so alive and so, she's so unbelievably good at it. Oh. Um, and negotiate, you know, and, 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 and uh, worked with us so beautifully. Yeah. Uh, and you're responsible for the tone on the set, for the mood on the set. Uh, and she is just really, really first rate. And, and we, we all, uh, you know, you asked about family. The, the, the cast feels like a family, and uh, and we are a family that roots for each other oh. in a really deep way. And and so it was, it was really beautiful to get to root for her that day in that way. I love it. And then last question. Mm -hmm. Favorite thing about being on Younger for six seasons? Sutton, Hillary, uh, Miriam, Nico, Debbie, Molly. Charles Michael Davis. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. That was perfect. That's my favorite. You got it. Peter, that's it for us. I don't want to, I don't, make it no. I know, make, it no. <laughs> make it no. Make it no. Make it no. That was so articulate. Make it no. <laughs> I'm like that's a funny. three year old. Make no. <laughs> this is how the finale makes me feel. Anyway, before I let you go, yes. is there anything you'd like to say to all the fans who've been watching Younger for the last six seasons? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because um, there is no show without you. If, if it weren't for you, we would be um, a bunch of people saying words off a page uh, on, a, on a soundstage somewhere. Um, and you make the show. And thank you for your um, enthusiasm and your loyalty and uh, your vehemence when you tell us and other people how much you love the show. I love Younger. Um, and that is, uh, that's just a great thing. So we feel very lucky um, that we get to do something that brings you all so much delight because it really delights us. As a fan, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Peter, yes, and thank and, you. And, and thank you. Um, excuse me, I won't. I won't talk over you when you say that. What did you want to say? <laughs> exactly. Can we do seventeen takes of that, please? <laughs> thank you so much. Really. Oh my God. Seriously, such a fan of the show. Such a fan of all of you guys. And it's an honor to get to work with you guys. I almost start crying. I am. I got cut before we start crying. Peter, Come thank on. you so much for being here and being my emotional support system. Exactly, we're gonna hold each other's hand. We that's, are. That's, that's the way we're gonna go out, holding and each other's hand. And thank you for another great season of Younger. 
Thank you for another great season of Getting Younger. <laughs> Oh, my God. I like it. And a big thanks to all of you younger fans out there for watching and sharing your comments each week. I'm Taylor Strecker, and this is Getting Younger. I'll see you next season. Bye. Subscribe to Younger Uncovered. The podcast dedicated to all things younger.